Are you coming? Over here. There you go. Takes a few times. <laughs> It'll get there. <laughs> Probably not this time, but it's coming soon. <laughs> well, this is a new record. Boy, it really wanted to there. Folks, how are we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. It is that time of year. It's it's chilly. The snow is coming down, and while it's not sticking to the driveway here just yet, we got a real cold spell coming, and I'm sure in a few days, they're calling for snow five days in a row. I think six, if you include today. And so we're gonna have snow on this driveway soon. We're standing on an asphalt driveway here. I've got a, a concrete section as well. I know a lot of you guys are dealing with that or, or something decorative, something that is not just you know gravel or crushed stone or dirt, right? And you wanna keep that investment in tip-top shape for as long as you can. So I thought it'd be a great time to give away some of our UHMW, this excellent product here. I'm gonna tell you more about it. We're gonna give you a bunch of tips today on how to protect your driveway and keep traction too, because those are two of the most frustrating things, losing traction when you're sitting there spinning your wheels, not moving that snow where it needs to go. And then come springtime when everything melts off, you see the damage, you see the rust streaks, you see all the stuff that just is gonna add up to be more money to repair it. So let's tell you how to avoid those pitfalls and we're gonna tell you how to enter that contest to win your own UHMW a little bit later on. All right, so we have this stuff in a lot of different shapes and sizes, depending on what your needs and application are, but UHMW, UHMW stands for ultra high molecular weight and then it's polyethylene, all right? So it's a very hard plastic. Now this stuff is recycled a little bit cheaper. Um, there's some like some higher grades of this that you would use in like uh, uh, in, in food production facilities, but for plowing snow, you don't need that. So this saves you some money going with this. Hey, you viewer, pay attention down below for five seconds. The simple way to sum it up is that it cuts like steel but protects like rubber. Now I will say that you'll see this advertised as being as hard as steel. And I do think it's a very durable product. It's gonna last a lot longer than rubber would. Um, but if you're using it on a really abrasive surface, you'll have some guys that, that wanna replace an old worn out steel edge uh, with this and use it on like their gravel driveway. I don't think that's a good application for it. Um, just gravel and rocks and stone are very abrasive and very rough in texture um, and it's going to give an uneven wear edge on this surface so i think stick with steel there but for asphalt concrete decorative stone all that kind of stuff an absolutely a1 material it's it's hard to beat you just can't beat it because the rubber is not going to going to cut through that packed snow at all this stuff really will do a good job but it's going to do that job without damaging it or leaving rust streaks like steel would. And so you'll see we have a few different uh, varieties here. And so we even make it in a, in a skid runner for our HLA snow pushers. So you can add those on too. a lot of different thicknesses. This thicker one that you see right here, 
It's two inches thick. We actually sell this for bucket edges. So if you have a pre-drilled um, bucket or if you want to drill out your bucket, you can countersink your bolts right up through here. You know, leave maybe three quarters of an inch or a half inch of material and you still have an inch and a half of material to wear through. Awesome for that right there. Uh, the big beefier stuff for bigger snow plows for the snow pushers. Thinner stuff for your smaller snow plows rear blades and even um, smaller than this just two inches for snow blowers too all right so this really is tip number one is use the right material to protect your driveway it's going to make a world of difference it is expensive stuff i'm not going to deny that but it is cheap in comparison to expensive driveway repairs and and one final note on this too this is the thinnest as far as three quarters of an inch, it's the thinnest that we sell. You're gonna see a lot of stuff out there on eBay, some other websites too, that will sell half inch, maybe three eighths of an inch thick. I wanted to go over the top and just go more robust. And so this is gonna be thicker than most of the other stuff you're gonna see out there on the market. And of course we have the thicker stuff too. All right, now, of course, if you maybe can't afford or it's just not in the budget right now, a piece of UHMW, you don't wanna do that. If you wanna try something different, I would suggest raising your plowing edge above the surface. And, and I know that kind of goes against the, the traditional grain of thought of, of scraping away all the snow, but is the trade-off worth it, right? If you have a real just tiny little skiff of snow that you leave on there, maybe a half inch or an inch or less, I guess, let's say, oftentimes that snow is either gonna melt away once we get a sunny day, or at least gonna pack down to a real, a real thin layer. And then at that point, you have something to, to kind of ride against and ride along and not make contact with your driveway at all. And so perhaps it could be a way to get by without investing in, in something uh, a little bit more expensive like UHMW and just see how that goes for you. And kind of going along with that same train of thought, you wanna limit your down pressure when you can. So if you are just kind of, whether it's with UHMW or, or rubber or steel, I mean, if you're just kind of using your, your loader or your hydraulics to push that blade down into the driveway, well, I get the, the, the want, the desire to do that to kind of completely scrape everything clean, but, you know, depending on the condition of your driveway, that's good or bad. If you're catching edges, you know, cracks that maybe aren't, aren't filled uh, this year, maybe a transition between like a public roadway and your driveway, there's a lot of areas there where a blade can catch and really cause damage quickly. So one way you can avoid limiting that down pressure is to use float on your tractor. And pretty much every modern day tractor is gonna have a float function, which is like a detent position. It's gonna actually relieve the hydraulic pressure and just let the weight of the blade, the weight of the pusher, the weight of the loader, just kind of ride along the ground. And as you're going along, and it works best in a straight line. If you're turning a lot, pop it back out afloat and kind of give yourself some, some more weight on the front tires, but then put it back in when you're going in a straight line, it's gonna follow the contour of the ground, just kind of ride along and, and those little undulations in there, it's not gonna to wanna to dig into it or cause any unnecessary damage, it's gonna be your friend. And then of course, go through the effort to mark your edges. Now is the time to do it. Not when you have the snow already on the ground, but mark the edges of your driveway, the transitions from one material to the next, where there could be a lip. Again, going down to those public roadways, oftentimes very awkward angles and transitions there where it's easy to cause damage and very frustrating. I, I've had a couple areas in my, at my last house where there was just damaged concrete right in that transition edge there and it just always frustrated me. I knew exactly how it happened and I just couldn't do anything about it. Well, I could have, but I didn't. <laughs> Folks, I wanna take just a second to tell you about our channel sponsor, RimGuard. They are a liquid ballast solution. They line up with exactly what we do here on Good Works, which is talking about tractors and tractor safety. We see it as simple as this. If you own a tractor, you need RimGuard. In fact, some tractors include RimGuard as standard out of the factory. Liquid ballast is simply weight, all right? And this weight hides inside your tires. It stays there all the time. It's a safety concern because tractors are almost always too light and too tippy out of the factory. The number one attachment used by every tractor owner is their front end loader. So when you pick up something heavy on the front end, your back end wants to pick up off the ground. RimGuard liquid ballast helps keep your back end planted to the ground. But beyond safety, it's gonna help maintain traction because if those rear tires, those power driving tires are on the ground, you have traction to go where you need to. And you're gonna operate more efficiently because if those rear tires aren't on the ground, you're not gonna pick up as much as you need to or take it where you need to go. RimGuard is all natural. That means it's safe. It is the heaviest per gallon, all natural product on the market. It's not gonna freeze, it's not gonna corrode, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. To find a dealer, visit RimGuardSolutions.com to make your tractor safer today. All right, five tips to increase traction while you're plowing snow. We tried grooving tires last year, and I think that that made a big difference. I don't have any I don't know, quantitative evidence to say that it did, but I can tell you this, we had R4 tires, I've used those historically to plow snow and they do a terrible job for me. And I, some folks are fine with it, a lot of folks are not. I've been stuck just off the side of my driveway, I've struggled to get up my old driveway before, which is not a super steep incline, but it's an incline. 
with those ungrooved tires. So we grooved our four tires last year, got a heat gun, or not a heat gun, a, a, well, you heat the gun up and it's got like a, a little steel blades that you put in there and kind of channel along. And it made a world of difference, I'm telling you. So give that a shot if you're looking to keep your tires, a fairly low investment. I think it was under a hundred bucks to get that gun um, and, and get your tires done there. A pretty cool option to consider. Another one, a pretty easy one that anybody can do is just to lower the tire pressure, all right? If your tires are rock hard bricks, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to get traction. So if you can soften them up in a way by lowering that PSI, getting more, getting more surface area, making contact, they're just gonna to tend to grip a little bit better and move a little bit better. So kind of walk that fine line, play around with it a little bit, but it can make a world of difference for you. Now, one that I haven't done, but I know a lot of folks do it with success is adding on rubber tire chains. And what is it, Versa, Versa Grip? Terra Grip, yeah, Terra Grip. That's what it is. And. Uh, I know that they're on Amazon. I'm sure there's some other places too. They, they sell out a lot. I think they're pretty popular, but I think that means they do a pretty good job too. So rubber tire chains, completely different than steel tire chains, which, you know, if you're getting steel tire chains or steel studs, those could really cause a lot of damage, you know, trying to get grip on your driveway. But these rubber ones are gonna do the same thing while leaving it essentially mark-free. Now, similar to cars, you can get snow tires for your tractor too. It can be an expensive proposition to consider because sometimes you need to change out not just your tire, but your wheel along with it. However, if you're looking to get a tire upgrade anyways, and you may consider something like the, the Goodyear R14 for the bigger tires, the Carlisle VersaTurf is gonna be a great option for like the 1025Rs, uh, the Gavota BX, the smaller tractors. But both of these tires share a similar technology and they're gonna be a hybrid combining the R1 Ag tire, the R3 R3 turf and the R4 industrial tire, kind of taking the best properties of all those and merging them into one. I've been running those on multiple tractors of mine. They've gotten really popular in the last couple of years. A good option for you to consider. And in fact, the Summit TX25 is running the Goodyear R14 tires as standard right out of the factory. And last but not least, we talk about ballast weight a lot on this channel in a lot of that's focused on the safety aspect of it, but this is where the other aspect of the efficiency comes into play because if you're sitting there spinning wheels, nothing's happening, that's not very efficient, right? And so if you can add ballast weight to the backside of your tractor, those rear tires are where you're really getting all your power from. So add your power back there, get it on the three point, get wheel weights, um, get liquid ballast with rim guard or channel sponsor inside your tires. But we focus on ballast because it's just such a, a positive for your tractor experience all around. So we have a lot of options for you. Go to our website and check that out and see what we have to offer. And now it's time for that giveaway. And if you've followed our channel before, you understand how this works, it's very simple. All you gotta do is be a resident of the United States, the lower 48, that's where we ship to. And on top of that, you just have to leave a comment down below, right in the comment section there. Feel free to enter. Feel free to get your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, your son, your daughter, whoever it is, to leave a comment as well, and they're entered also. We're gonna do our giveaway at noon Eastern time on, what is it, Monday, November 21st, 2022. So if you, you watch this video after that date, I'm sorry, you're out of luck, but subscribe and follow along for future videos and future giveaways too. So we're gonna be selecting three winners, okay? So your choice, whatever you need, all right? If you, if you have an HLA snow plow, or a snow pusher, I should say, and you wanna get a set of UH&W skid runners, all yours. If you want a piece of the big, thick, heavy stuff for your snow plow, all yours. If you need something smaller for your rear blade, whatever it is, if you need four foot, five foot, six foot, we ship up to, I think it's 94 inches long. We go any longer than that, we get into oversized charges and we just don't sell anything longer than that. So whatever you need, we're gonna select three winners. You win a, a piece of UHMW, whatever your length is, or a set of skid runners if you need them. Now, important note, okay, so you're gonna see Text me on Telegram or something with Telegram. Contact me there. You were selected. You're a lucky winner. That is a scam, all right? You're, I'm not going to send anything to anybody. I don't reply to any of these comments, these giveaways, just to, I don't want to mess anything up. I'm not going to do the drawing until just after noon on Monday the 21st. If you get something before then, it's a scam. Ignore it completely and report it to YouTube. In fact, I had so many of those comments from Telegram on the last giveaway, I thought about not doing one anymore. So again, ignore anything from text me on Telegram. Don't contact me. I don't know what Telegram is, but it'll be like text me on Telegram, good works tractors, right in their username. That's not me. That's fake. That's a, that's a, a lie. That's a scam. Ignore it. All right. So one last thing. We're just about out of here today, folks, but these sections here are kind of our, our takeoff pieces. All right. So we get these strips right from the factory in 10 foot long pieces. And most folks need a, a five or a six foot or a seven, uh, seven foot long piece. And then we're, we wind up with a big old stack of 
these shorter pieces that are two, three, four foot long. And so I'm gonna create a listing for these scrap pieces, these takeoff pieces at a discounted price. You're gonna see them on there and it may be like buy two foot sections or say you need, say you need, you need six foot of material well, we're gonna say on there, you're gonna get at least two foot sections. So you say you need six foot of material, we're gonna send you a bunch of takeoffs to, to equal at least six foot, probably a little bit longer than six foot. Basically, you're gonna have an option to pay the regular full price for just a one section piece that's six foot long, for example, or you can pay a discounted rate and get multiple pieces to get you to that six foot increment. It's just up to you, it's a way to have an option and perhaps you can get into UHMW a little bit cheaper. So folks, hope you enjoyed today's video. We'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. We sell all sorts of tractor attachments and we ship them all over the country. Go to goodworkstractors.com. If you don't have anything to buy but you wanna support the channel, rock some swag, buy our merchandise. We don't keep any profits off of that. We donate it all to charity. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.